What up, my roadies? Road Trip Dave is coming at you from Carowinds yet again. And unfortunately, Carowinds decided to, quote, fix, unquote, Blue Ridge Country Kitchen's menu. But unlike Fury 325, shown here in 2023, I wonder if it needed fixing. Let's check out the new menu. If you recall from my previous restaurant review, I showed y'all the different varieties that Blue Ridge Country Kitchen had, like the fried pork chops, the amazing rotisserie chicken, the biscuits, and the brownie bake. All of those things have been changed. So let's check out the new menu. But before you do that, make sure you choke slam the like button and all the other things that need to be done. Well, my roadies, welcome to the Blue Ridge Country Kitchen restaurant correction video. It just goes to show you in this day and age, nothing ever stays the same. Not even menus. And that goes for Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. So, let me show you what they have now. Well, one, well let me tell you the two things they got rid of. They got rid of the rotisserie chicken. And they got rid of the brownie bake. I don't know. But let me show you what they have now. The menu has been radically changed. For instance, they now have a spicy chicken sandwich. And then here they have baked um, chicken drumsticks. In the back are baked, it looks like they're char grilled chicken thighs. And then right here look like regular wings, along with spicy chicken wings and regular chicken tenders. The sides have also changed. Okay, for the sides, they now have french fries. And it looks like they are uh, seasoned. They have a special seasoning on them, so we'll try those out. Now this is cornbread pudding right here. That's what it looks like. Right here is fried okra, broccoli. Now they still kept the mac and cheese, so woohoo, kept one thing. <laughs> now I got the broccoli with the uh, spicy barbecue. This right here is the uh, char grilled uh, thigh and cornbread pudding. So I'm gonna try some of the thigh right now. Wow. Okay. The thigh has a lot more. There's a lot more seasoning on this. It's uh, it's actually blackened, um, and it's very good. It has a bit of a Cajun Cajun tang to it with. Um, with the hint of uh, hickory as well. Um, so it's very good. Now, I'm gonna try the cornbread pudding. Mm. Initially, initially it had like a little cream of corn taste, but then the cornbread um, started kicking in and, and <laughs> started kicking on the back end. Um, very good, it's very good. All right, now I'm gonna try the spicy chicken right here. Mmm. Has a, has a spicy texture, a um, little bit of like a hickory barbecue, and has a little zest to it. Um, and it's a tender, it's not a wing, so it's all, all meat. Pretty good. Now, I'm just like a kid. I don't necessarily love vegetables, but I do like to try different vegetables. So here's the broccoli. It's not bad. It has a little, um, you tell it put some, some seasoning in it with some, with some butter. But you know, it's broccoli. <laughs> so, after the new menu at Blue Ridge Country Kitchen, I would, uh, I was gonna rate it four and a half stars. But the fact that it got rid of the brownie bake, I'm knocking it down to four stars exactly. They're, they're lucky I don't put three and a half. Cause I'm uh, not, not too happy about the side change. Now, the 
the actual entrees are actually very good. Uh, I actually really prefer the thighs. The blackened thighs were just excellent, very flavorful. Uh, the barbecue chicken tenders were, you know, fairly decent. Um, and, you know, the, the cornbread pudding was good. But those mashed potatoes and gravy were really awesome. And the fact that they got rid of the brownie bait just, it really hurts, really hurts. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed this correctional restaurant review for Blue Ridge Country Kitchen. And hopefully I won't have to do another one in the next two months. Until next time, my roadies. Laters. Whoever that kid was behind me was awesome. <laughs> Make sure you check out some other videos that I posted. Until next time, my roadies. Laters.